Right, afternoon everyone. Just uh, getting this field of hay rolled up. I'm back to rowing up with hay bob. It's, well, it'll do the job. And it does a decent enough job, you know. But yeah, this got this little field. It's a field on the estate that uh, we can have, so I'm going to make something of it. It's a little bit bare in places. There's barely any rows here. I might double row these bits to try and get a bit more. And but down at that end, it's quite heavy. So it'll make it'll make a few bales. It's better than nothing. Um, We'll get to it. Get this. I keep trying to fiddle with this A-Bob to get it to do a tidier job. I don't like all the bits that it leaves in between the rows, but we're managing. I don't run it at full 540. I don't feel the need to, to be quite honest. I've just altered the gates to try and get it to uh, move the rows a little bit further apart. Get rid of my watch. Right, so we'll crack on with it. I'm going to try and this head come out. Well, again, I don't have much luck with this. I think with me being quite tall, you'll be seeing a lot of these uh, dials in here. But oh well. And the other thing is, it's rather rough in this field doesn't get rolled or looked at or out so I apologize if you get a bit seasick what I did with this last the row before is I did it twice to give me a bigger gap to go down with Baylor first time sort of down the middle because we're, we're having sledge and everything, it, it's quite wide.
Right people, so as you can see, we're bailing. It's rather like this, well this end of the field is good enough, nice and heavy, but uh, down that end is very light. Sort of a, we're up and down the gears to keep a bit of, um, what's the word, like through flow, fruit baler. Because some of the bits it's barely, it's barely got enough going into it to take it across in the pickup, but it's not too bad. It's good at this end. The bales are coming out a nice colour. It's quite um, coarse grass, so it does bale quite easily, which is good. We've got the outside rounds done. We're getting something like um, 12 to 16 bales off a complete circuit. So it's not going to be that good. A, it's not going to be a special yield out of this field, but can't really complain. I seem to be finding when there's not enough hay going through baler I can't get it to do straight bales I have to use right this edge of the uh, pickup the very the very inside otherwise the one of the packer fingers doesn't seem to be chucking it far enough into the bale chamber to make a straight bale so we get some sort of lopsided ones at times they're not bad but they're just not perfect so it sort of it irritates me a little bit you see there's one stuck in the sledge now what's, I wonder if it'll do, it'll probably bounce its way around, but that'll be a couple of inches shorter on one side than on the other. And what it means is it does some deft things like that. Yeah, because it's a little bit shorter, it doesn't go through the sledge properly and then it does shit like this. They're getting really lopsided now. I think we've actually lost a string. Oh yeah, what's happened is the string's gone onto the outside of that. If you look the strings round the uh, thing. Hey, that one good. Save that one. I saved that one from Piggim, which is good. Just a bit of job getting these in now. Yeah, this side is shorter than the other side and these things are countering for it, me density, but it's, I think it's because the fingers aren't pushing the hay far enough across in the chamber. But I'll give it another, give it another crank. It's alright when there's a lot of material going through because it evens itself out, but when it's sparse, back inside where you might be able to hear me when it's not got enough material going in it struggles well it doesn't struggle it just it isn't quite perfect and it slightly irritates me like I mean I'm not really gonna bother that much with this piece that I'm on there's a few bits where I just had to drive over it but it's not it's not worth me uh, struggling to bail it all. I'm just going to leave a big area so if I need to I can turn around. In fact I'm going to drop them eight in a minute. Once we're far enough away from the end of that row. 